What's up, y'all? It's Shiloh Shy, Shy Shy. Whatever you want to call me, it's me. And I am back with another video. So, guys, I got my nails done today. Don't they look so cute? Like, now I can talk with my hands. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, what's up? Whoever. What? Baby. So, what's up, y'all? Um, Today, it's Saturday night. I don't go out because I don't got friends. So, I just stay home now. So, I hope everybody's doing well. I've been doing so-so. Like, I've been doing okay. I'm not, I haven't been my best best. But, like, I just, I've been trying to stay consistent with YouTube. And to just really focus on what I want and what I need right now. There's just been, like, a few things, like, on my mind. That's, like, been really, like, eating me out. <laughs> that kind of sounded funny. But, like, it's been eating me up. Like, it just... It drains my energy, and I just felt like I didn't need to be in that type of place. Like, it just wasn't healthy for me, and I'm just always, like, overthinking, and, you know, this is why I feel like my schedule will work, because it's like, I just don't want to be too much in my head. But at the same time, it's like, when I'm home, I don't want to have to be in my head. Like, I want to be able to be chill when I'm home, you know? So, like, I'm trying to, I'm starting to get back in the YouTube vibe. I know I'm doing better than I was a few weeks ago I was really much in my head and like I don't know for a few months like things has just been very weird and like out of place and I feel like I was also out of place like you know just not staying consistent with the things that I actually need and I was just focusing on other things and also it was summer too so like you know I was in that having fun stage when really like I still had things that I needed to do for myself, like for example YouTube, like I could have filmed so much more videos this summer and post so much more content, but I I think I only posted like two videos this summer and it's like, there were two fun videos and like, I felt also like this summer, I wanted to actually have a good time and not have everything on camera, you know what I mean? Like for the vlog when I went to Toronto, like I could have vlogged way longer than what the video is at. But, like, I just felt like I had to live in the moment. Because, like, the years before, like, with COVID and everything, like, COVID was there. But I was just, like, not doing much. And, like, I feel like Toronto was really, like, an eye-opener. Like, girl, you could do way much, way much more with yourself. Like, you could travel. And, like, traveling is definitely one thing, like, I want to do. Like, I want to travel everywhere. It's, like, a dream come true to me. And I just want to see what's out there. Because I've never been nowhere. Like, I've never been to no other country. I've been to the States. But, like... It was when I was younger and I went shopping for the day and I was with my fams and like, I didn't even go shopping for myself like it was my fam that was shopping so like it wasn't really like outing like we were just in the mall and then we went back in the car to go back on the highway so like I never really went anywhere and I felt like I'm just so tired of like being in the same position I mean not that I am in the same position because I did grow like for example from like two years ago like I could I could agree and say that like I, I'm definitely not the same person I was two years ago. I accomplished a few things that I wanted to. I accomplished a few things that were on my bucket list that I've been wanting to do for years ago. And, like, me years ago would have been like, wow, girl, like, you're good. Because me two years ago, anyways, I was just not, like, as aware of life. Especially living life by yourself. Like, I was just... Like, st like, I was just starting to live on my own, so, like, it was, like, the beginning of a new, like, chapter for me. But now it's been, like, two years that I'm in this apartment, and I just feel like I just want to do different, you know? So anyways, before we get started in the video, I'm going to roll up. I don't know if I should roll backward. It's because I just got my nails done today, y'all. Look at them. Aren't they so cute? I hope on. It says 222 on it. Super cute. And also, y'all, the reason why I put two, two, two on my finger, I mean, like, oh my god, I got makeup on my nails. Y'all probably seen that. But anyways, the reason why I did 222 two, two today is because earlier before my nail appointment today, um, I went to my brother's football game, and they do these, like, raffle tickets, or, like, I don't know, I think they're called raffle tickets. It's like you pay, like, a certain amount of money to get a certain amount of tickets. And I only put down $5. I'm like, I put down $5, and I got, like, 10 tickets. And on one of my tickets, y'all, like, when I tell you on one of my tickets, the number was 222. 
And if y'all know me, like, 222 is my fucking number. So, like, when I got the fucking coupons and I seen that number, I was like, bro, this has to be my angels trying to do me a favor right now. Like, this has to be my angels trying to speak to me. Like, and I was talking about this to my mom. I'm like, y'all, 222 is on the freaking coupon. Like, this could be my chance to win the money. I got my ticket and we were watching the game and time was going. And then they came later on and they announced the number of the ticket. I think it was like 22. 712 or something like that it was one of the numbers so my numbers were all like almost 2-2 two two, but I had one that was 2-2-2 two two two. so that's why I like I felt like I was lucky because that's my angel number but anyways when they called the number I was I was like no way it can't be me then I was looking I was looking I was looking I'm like no way it's me and I fucking won money y'all I mean I won $55 but it's like it's better than nothing you know what I mean like I never win shit and it's so crazy because even a while ago, I was at the club, and I found a $100 bill on the floor. But my dumbass dropped it and lost it. So that went to someone else that probably needed it more than I did. And then the next day after, the day that I found the $100 bill and then lost it, I found 15 bucks at a and Like, I don't know. Money has just been coming to me lately. And I don't know if it's, like, because certain things are, like, changing very fast in my life. Or if it's like God's finally answering my prayers. Or if my angels are like finally answering my prayers. It's just fucking weird. It's like I'm at a stage in my life where it's like I'm sad. But like I'm happy at the same time. Like it's weird. It's just a weird feeling. I can't even explain it to you guys. Anyways, I want to smoke. I haven't smoked in like a minute. I was out from not from okay i left my house maybe like around like 10 45 ish and i went to this football field right away and it was in the south shore it's like pretty far from where i am in montreal so yeah i went there yeah, i've just been up since early and plus i worked at the bar the night before and i had like four hours of sleep so like i was super exhausted today but i still got my day done and still found a way to record a video today i did like the sibling vlog y'all don't watch that already go watch it now there's a video before this one and then i came home i actually i went to my mom's house watched a movie with them my sibling my, well, my sister and my mom and then i came downstairs Oops. and i was like why don't i film a youtube video because i was just telling myself like i know sometimes like because sometimes what i do i film content I mean, I film a video, and then I record that video, and then I film a video, and I record a video. But there was a time when I had first started YouTube, I would just film hella videos. Just film, film, film. Like, I'd always have videos to edit, so, like, it's just, it comes in clutch when you do that, I feel. Because it's not, like, every day you want to, like, get cute and record, or, like, not every day you're feeling it, but, like, the thing about me, I don't want to look the same in every video. Like, I want to look a little different, like, I want my hairstyle to be different, my look, like, the vibe. And yeah, so yeah, I have a question. Do y'all believe in real friends? Because I feel like all my life, I just had people come in my life for a certain amount of time and then leave. It was like, I understand, like, in life you grow from people yeah. and people come in my life and then just leave. And not even for a proper reason. And I just feel like, also, like, people, like, in a way, do me so dirty. And, like, I give hella people so many chances. But then when I do some little, like, some small happens, it's like, it's the end of the fucking world. And it's like, I don't get that same energy back. And it's like, as a friend, you should be forgiving, you know what I mean? And I just feel like all my life, I've just had this around me where it's like, people just are temporary around me. Like, I've never had, like, friends that just stuck with me. And I've always struggled also, like, having friends in high school, you know? Like, I always had the same friends. I never really was never really into like having new friends or looking for new friends i feel like when i get new friends it's like i have to explain my like who i am all over again just like same thing like when you date like you don't have to keep explaining explaining who you are to people like i want someone that knows me like i don't have to like tell y'all a whole bunch of shit about me that y'all have to figure out like i like like all my life like the people that were close to me were people that i had in my life for a long time but like me with finding new friends has never been my thing, like, for real. And I don't know, like, there's this situation right now 
that like I feel and if it was vice versa I'd be very like understanding anyways let me just start rolling up I don't know if I'll roll the back but anyways we'll grind a bead I'm gonna jam a bit while I'm rolling because I hate talking when I roll it's just I don't know I like to jam when I roll I mean I like to roll when I jam I like to jam when I roll <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna play this one. Hold up. Okay, y'all, so my storage is bugging. So I'm just gonna roll the fucking spliff or blunt. And I'll just start filming when I'm done. Because every time I roll, I take too long. And it just takes more time in the video. So I'm just gonna roll and then come on. Alright? So when y'all see me again, my face will have a spliff right next to it. You know what I'm saying? A spliff or a blunt. Don't know yet. But yes, I will have that. So. So I'm rolling a back with guys. Alright y'all, so I rolled it back with. It's a nice backy. I'm gonna twist it and light it up so we can get straight into the video. Or more raw talk. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is a fat stubby back with. This is all I need. And no filter, bitch. I rolled this with no filter. So let's light this bitch up. Hi, Mimi! I need a proper letter for this. up about something that I didn't think I was going to because I didn't think it would be this long but like there's pretty much like a situation in my life where like two of my really good friends me and them like we don't talk no more and whatnot and like you know it was like I don't feel like we've had the proper conversation about it like I feel like it was just in the moment like everybody was mad and it just wasn't dealt with properly because like when I tell y'all like I've lost plenty of friends like when I tell y'all plenty of friends I've lost plenty of friends over the years but nothing ever hit this fucking hard and it's just it's fucked up because with the whole situation it's such a misunderstanding that like I tried to explain myself and nothing was heard and it's like and that sometimes people don't see what other people see like you know like I feel like people feel the way sometimes about their friends but they don't let them know how they feel and then like they wait until like a situation between them happens to use that as like oh fuck this bitch let me not talk to this girl no more but it's like you didn't even come to me when you had a feeling that like you didn't even you didn't even come to me when you had a problem in the first place. How am I supposed to not you feel the way? And then like when we had this argument, you just come to me and you tell me all these things you were feeling about me. But it's like when we were friends, you didn't mention not one thing until we had that one argument. And it's like I don't really argue that much either with my friends. Like it's very rare. Like that's why I say like I always have the same friends and the friends that I have like we don't like drama. So it's like. We always just try and stay away from it, you know? But, like, with the situation right here, like, I feel like it hit me more because it's, like, it was bitches that I really fucked with. I feel like I would have been friends with for years. And, I don't know, maybe, like, in the future, like, shit will get better. But as of right now, like, I do just feel, like, very alone. And, like, I don't know if it's God doing me a favor or if it's God trying to teach me a lesson or whatever God is trying to do 
But I don't know. Like, I just don't know how to feel about it. I feel like, like, this whole thing is just such a misunderstanding. And it's like, but one of the girls, like, I let her know how I felt. Like, I apologize for the way I went on. And it's not like, you know, like, I didn't say sorry. And I said sorry for, to both of them. So it's just, like, it's fucked up because, like, people dub me way more dirty and I forgave them. And it's just, like, one thing happens and it's like, I'm just cut off. You know what I mean? So that shit really fucked me up. And I was really fucked up for a few weeks about it because i'm not gonna sit here and act like i don't give a fuck and i don't have feelings and i'm not hurt because that's a fucking lie i'd be lying to you if i said that and i just feel like i'm just i'm just so tired of having people be in my life temporary like like are you in my life because you care about me or are you in my life because you need me for i'm just so over it i just fill up my schedule with like work and i just try and stay working and just try and not wrap my head around it. Because when it first happened, it really hit me. But I didn't think it would have been like this long that I didn't talk to like, the girls. So it's like, this is the longest it's ever happened. That we haven't spoken for this long. So in my head, it's like, were they so easy to give up on me in a way? You know what I mean? Because also in this situation, the two girls that um, that I'm not talking to no more they i introduced them to each other and then now because they both had a situation with me they both chose the opportunity to link up like all the time and just go out and do things and like and it's like i don't mind like when i introduce my friends to other friends like but it's just this it's like a it's like when you're doing it like purposely to piss somebody off it's fucked up. Like, I don't like that shit. It's just fucking annoying. But it's just that this whole... It's just crazy to me because this whole situation is just such a big misunderstanding. Like, there were some things that were said that I don't even know what the fuck were said. That I even tried to ask, like, when, when, when did this happen? What did I say? How did I say it? But nothing was ever told to me. So, like, it's like, it's fucked up because I'm still here clueless, like... I'm here clueless on, like, why I just lost two of my best friends over something that I didn't even know I did or I didn't even know that they felt a way about. And it's just fucked up because it's like, if you were my real friends, I feel like you would fight, you know, like you would fight to be my friend. And I feel like people have done me dirty so many times and I gave people so many chances. And it's like one situation happens and I just feel like I'm dropped. Like I was just left for the gutter. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, say something and then say I didn't say that. Because I have no reason to lie. Like, why would I need to lie for? I've never rocked that boat ever. So it's not for me to do something like that. And it's on top of it, it's like what was said was complete bullshit because... I never said it, and if I did say something, like, it was never intentionally, like, I don't fucking treat my friends with disrespect, I don't feel like I'm better than anybody, because I'm the last person that thinks that they're better than anyone, like, you know, like, I have my own insecurities as well, I'm just, I guess it's, it's easier for me to hide it, but I'm just, like, I'm really bum hurt, because I just feel like no one tried to even, like, fight for me. And it's like all this tension that they've been feeling inside of them, it's like they've been feeling it for so long and then mention anything about it to me. So it's like when this all hit me the one time, it's just, it was a lot. It was a lot to take in, for real. Because I didn't think that in this time, especially in the summer too, like my first month of my summer was fun. And the second month was just bullshit. Like August was just bullshit, for real. And it's just like... You know when you go and that change in your life, it's like new, but like you have your friends normally, so like it's a little more better because you guys could talk. And I'm the type of person that I call my friends, like we talk on the phone. I like to talk when I'm bored as fuck, like we'll be on the phone and not say shit. Like that's the type of conversations I like to have with my friends, like just that comfort feeling of having someone to talk to, you know? And like with this, it's like it was both of my best friends, so it's not even like... 
I have anyone to talk about with this. And it's like even this situation is stopping other people from seeing me now too. I just feel like it's fucked up because I would have never done this to anybody. And it's like, I'm just, I'm just so tired. I'm just tired, like. I'm just fucking tired. I'm over it. Like, since I'm young, I've always been that person that always gets everyone together. And just wants everybody to have a good time. And I just feel like I've never had that person in return. Like, growing up, I've never had that person that I am to people. Like, I feel like I've never had that friend that's like me. Like, the friend that's joyful, like, jolly. Like, like to make people laugh. Try and keep up with conversation I've never had that person to just be that stand up person so it's like sometimes I feel like I need that energy back in return sorry I had to just fix myself up a bit cause like <laughs> yeah it happened but anyways like I was trying to say like just always being that person that's like the outstanding one of the group that just always try to keep a conversation for example the one that just always wants to try and have everyone to have a good time like i just feel like i always reach way more than everybody else in a way to like try and make shit happen and it's like i don't get the same effort in return that i should be getting you know what i mean but yeah i just feel like i just have such a big heart that sometimes I don't think that people would do me a certain way because I myself am so not like fucked up in a way like even if I like drop you out of my life like I feel like you really have to push me to the point where I really got upset like but then at that it's like if you let me know along the way how you feel and I still don't listen to what you're saying then I understand you have a reason to fucking drop me and never talk to me again. But it's different when it's like this news that you announced to me the day that we had an argument is brand news to me, like new news to me. And I just feel like if you like every time we linked up, you felt this way, then this whole time it's like me thinking that like these people are my fucking bitches, like my girls, like feel the same way I do. But I guess I must have been wrong. And it's like, I feel like when someone's doing something wrong, you should say something. Because, like, why would you want to keep being around someone that does something that bugs you, but you don't say anything? You know what I mean? And this is why it's just really, like, like hard for me to deal with and to cope with. It's like, I feel like I can't get closure with it because I still don't understand. It's like, it's I can't understand. I, st like, I don't know if I ever will. But it's like, at the same time, I just don't want to be sad like yeah it's fucking sucks and it's like maybe like even if we do talk shit out i just feel like it would never be the same again because like like i told y'all like i've lost a lot of people along the way growing up like in school like i got bullied i never really trusted girls but it's like when it's like girls that like you really feel like are your soulmate type of girls like it's just it's fucked up and like I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm innocent and I don't do nothing wrong and, like, I don't do no mistakes, you know, or, like, I'm an angel. Like, I definitely don't think I'm an angel. I think I'm the last person to think, like, they're an angel. And it's, like, maybe I say things sometimes that make people feel like I'm saying it in a way that's, like, like coming to coming at them. But those are really never my intentions. Like... As an Aquarius, all my life, all I've always been was so positive, like always about positive vibes. Even in high school, I started a freaking clothing brand that was called PVO, standing for positive vibes only. And I can't lie, like since COVID, I could say, and also since I've been living on my own and also like having past trauma that I've dealt with, I definitely feel like I'm not the best that I've ever been. Like I probably feel like 2021 2022 are probably the hardest years I've ever had to go through like just with myself trying to find me and just dealing with COVID and just bullshit on the side too like family problems just my own problems having to deal with my insecurities like I just feel like maybe I, I don't seem like I'm that <laughs> like good friend to people 
but like all I ever want is just have a good time because I'm low-key such a positive person but I'm also very sad and I also feel like there's just so much things that I don't have closure with like not even just with friends but like just a lot of shit like with my dad like me and my dad have no relationship I feel like I have serious daddy issues like you know I used to go out with my mom and I feel like even now like sometimes we still argue a little bit but like we don't talk shit out and I feel like talking shit out is the best thing to do bro because it's like you both get understanding and it's like maybe we both might not agree to something but like as long as we both know each other's feelings then we could try and have an understanding about it you know what i mean or try and see from their point of view and I, i'm always a person that like if someone tells me uh, like they feel a way about me i'm gonna try and see from my point of view that like yeah okay maybe i am being a certain way but me i feel like back then if someone came to me and told me something about myself i'd be like fuck you like fuck you if you don't like that then fuck you but me sometimes i try and actually think like maybe this is something that i need to work on you know what i mean this whole fucking situation is just it really got to me because it's confusing it's just like all these new thoughts that i've never had in my head before adding on to the ones i already have it's just a lot i look crazy my blood is just burning i'm not even smoking but i just feel like i wouldn't do nobody like that like i feel like i should let you know if i feel a way about you and then try and work shit out about it you know what i mean but, like, when you come to me about something that's, like, brand new to me, it's just, it's fucked up. And I feel like, also, it's not like a, like, oh, we're not friends and we don't talk. But it's more like, I feel like it's shady as fuck. Like, I feel like a lot of shade and I feel a lot of tension. And I don't know, maybe I could be wrong. But, like, I'm just feeling like, because me, I thought these were my real fucking friends. And I never thought that they would just leave me like this, like... For real, it's, it's fucked up. It is what it is, right? This is the fucking broken lighter. Where's my lighter? I have a song to play. It's a really good song. It's called I'm a Mess by Umale. It's a really good song. I feel like it really means my life. Like it. I feel like this song is my life right now. Like, I just feel like the rhythm of the song and the sound of the fucking music and the lyrics are just meant for me right now. I'll play it for you guys because I just feel like I need to listen to this song right now. I just feel like I need to. I just gotta try and stay positive, guys, and just keep a positive mindset. And I, I do have things I wanna accomplish, so like, I'm just gonna try and keep positive. But this song right here, I'ma back it up so y'all could really listen to it. Fire. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. Y'all, I just love this song so much, bro. Sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm sad. I don't know what's over me. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm wild. I don't know what's over me. I don't know what's over me. like this song just really like it really is me like it's i just relate so bad to it like it's crazy and y'all lately like i'm gonna try and change the subject a little bit you know because i like to do that in my videos so if y'all are new to this channel damn y'all see me at my worst but you know what this journey with youtube is literally a process of my reality of my life and the fun times and I just balance the both in these videos. Like, y'all gonna see messy videos. And y'all will see lit videos. Y'all will see funny videos. Y'all will see boring videos sometimes. I don't know. Maybe y'all find some videos boring. But you know what? That's why y'all need to tell me what videos y'all wanna want me to record. Because half of the time, I don't know. But lately, I feel like there's just things to talk about. So, I just wanna pull out my camera. And it's crazy that I have to come to this situation for me to really focus on YouTube like why you know what i mean 
but also like it's just work a lot too and i'm just really trying to clear my mind i'm trying to free my mind as well as my girl tem said i should run that too but i'm gonna run this song one more time because i just fucking love it okay i'm taking too many shots of cola one for the belly and another for the broken heart Anyways, y'all, I talked a lot in this video about things I didn't think I was going to talk about. But I don't know, man. I don't know how to, like, feel about this situation still. And it's like, I really question myself and, like, am I really a problem? Like, am I really fucked up in someone's eyes? Like, did I really make someone feel like shit? To the point where I just got like ditched you know and it's just I just wish there was more like I just understood more I just I just wish I understood more about the whole feeling that you had you know what I mean Yo, I didn't know what to say, bro. <laughs> and it's like, I already have such a fucked up life. I feel like I just been through so much shit. That I never even talk about with nobody or like things that I just can't even erase from my head. And it's just like, I always get fucked over in the end all the time. I think I'm having a mental breakdown, guys, for real. Cause I'm really like I'm really not the one to go on camera and fucking cry that's one thing that I don't do and one thing I don't do too like I cry a lot but like I don't like you know break down where it's like I just want to be in my bed all day because when I'm in my bed all day I get into this fucking state that I just can't get out of and this is why I like to keep my schedule busy because if I'm home too much, I'm just, I have nothing to do. And I just, especially with everything going on in my life right now, it just makes me overthink everything. And I just, when I'm in my head, like I'm in my head, like I feel like inside here, bro, is my biggest demon I ever have to face. Like, that I face every day or try to, you could say. I'm on my period, so this is why, maybe why I'm very emotional right now. But honestly, like, this situation's been, like, a month now. And, like, the whole half of the beginning of that month, like, this whole September, I was literally crying, like, every day. It's fucked up. I just feel like I lost my, like, soulmates in a way, so it's just, you know. I'm not even gonna put this in the video, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing, child? What am I doing? Yeah, I'm just over it. I don't know how to feel about this video no more. <laughs> I feel like I opened up to y'all because I don't really talk about should I go through on here. I feel like I, when I'm on here, I just so it's to, for for a good time, you know. But like to come on here and tell y'all like my actual personal business, it's like I'm letting y'all in my business. And it's like, I know I post because I do have people that actually support me. And this is really why I do this. It's for you guys. And it's like, I enjoy doing it. And it's like, yeah, those people are in there just to be nosy. But you know what? The hate for me never really, like, got to me. Like, I feel more in high school days. 
But as of an adult, as as an adult, like that shit just don't affect me no more. Fuck, I look ridiculous. My makeup, my my face probably looks crispy this whole video. But you know what? Who cares? Y'all, I want I want a camera for Christmas. I was gonna get one. But like there was just a time where I was just spending money unnecessary, like it was nothing. And I wasn't putting my needs where I was supposed to. But y'all, by the end of 2023, or at least in the middle, I need to have a car. Like, I need to have a car. Like, 2023, I'm please, like, make me. Like, you know when you just, like, you know when you're younger and you just think of how you're going to be when you're older. Like, you always, like, for example, when you're in school, they would always ask you, like, what do you want to be when you're older? Bitch, I probably, like, I always used to say I want to be a dancer. Like, I want to dance. I want to travel the world and dance for artists and celebrities and, you know, all that extra shit. And probably, like, even acting. Like, because I used to go to camp for, for theater. And I also went to, like, in high school as a subject, I did um, theater as well. I always really just liked being, you know, active. And I feel like as an adult now, it's like, bitch my knees are broke life is hard people are crazy out here like literally mentally crazy doing crazy ass shit the amount of shit i see on my social media is ridiculous like every once in a while like i'll delete my apps off my phone and i'll just watch netflix and go to bed but like really like lately social media has really been getting to me because like i've been staying up like, let's say I work, I finish work downtown at 12. I will go home for, like, 1. And then I'm up until, like, 5 o'clock in the morning to wake up. The next day at, like, 3 or 5. It's, like, all my work is, like, night shifts. So it's, like, I sleep during the day and I get ready at night. Sometimes I'm up early and I do things. I might get off, so I do things as well. Like, I run errands if I have errands to run or, you know, I spend time with the family. Sometimes I, like... I have things I want to talk about, but I really wonder if I should talk about it. Because I don't know if it's just if in the moment I feel like it's right to talk about it, but then, like, the next day I'm like, I don't feel the same way, you know what I mean? It's like, for a week I feel like, yeah, I'm doing this. And then it's like, the week after, it's like I posted and it's like, maybe I shouldn't have posted that. But I never went to that limit yet, that's what I'm saying. And I don't know if I want to put everything on the internet, you know what I mean? But I just feel like I need some type of support about it too. Especially with this one situation, but I don't know. Yeah, my nose is super cute. Two, two, two. I want $55. Also, I found money today. $200. That I had stock in here. It's an iPhone box. I forgot I put it in there. I had put it in there for a tattoo. I originally planned to do it, but I didn't end up going. I didn't end up booking the appointment. I put it to the side. But anyways, I, I was looking for, I think it was the charger or a cube. Yeah, I was looking for a cube for my charger in one of my drawers, and I seen that it was there. So I was like, I took it out. And I just, I'm like, Maybe, is there money in here? And that was $200. So honestly, guys, I say sometimes it's good to make your money, like hide your money somewhere. Cause then you forget about it. And I actually forgot about it, and it's crazy. Cause I put this there like two, three weeks ago, so like it's really crazy that I forgot it was there, and it just popped out. Honestly, I might take it out of my wallet and put it back there because I still have cash on me too. So, anyways, guys, I feel like this video is long enough. I feel like I was raw and open. I don't know if everything that I mentioned in here is going to be posted, but if it is, whatever y'all heard is whatever y'all heard. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> to all my new viewers, <laughs> I'm not always like this. Like, I'm not always crying on video, okay? I don't cry on camera. But, like, I felt like this emotion, emotion I had in me has been inside me for so long and I just feel like I need to release you know I feel like I just need to release a little bit and I feel a little better to be honest we'll see how I feel when I'm editing this video though <laughs> but 
But anyways, y'all, thank you for watching this video. And for y'all that have been kicking it with me, y'all, I reached like 540 subscribers. Like, that's crazy to me. In just a month, I gained 40 subscribers. That's something because for a long time, like for a while, I mean, I wasn't posting and like I wasn't getting no subscribers. Like my subscribers were staying at a certain number. It was like 400 and something, like 30 something. And it was just stuck at 430 something. It wasn't going higher than that. So I was like so stressed that people were going to forget about me. But like me posting again is making my channel be more active. So I'm going to try and post or well, record more videos. And yeah. I really appreciate y'all for watching this video if you've watched it until the end. If you're new to the channel, go subscribe. And if you've been watching my videos but you're not subscribed, subscribe. Like, I know some people don't do it intentionally. Like, they just search me because they know they might people and they just want to watch my videos. But it's like, if you don't have a YouTube account, create one just so you can subscribe to me. All you gotta do is create a Google account. That's it. And then log in your Google account on YouTube and you're a subscriber. You just gotta click subscribe and that's it you know what i mean because i feel like why watch my videos and not be subscribed you know what i mean if you're doing that then that means you're a hater but at the end of the day you're giving me a view so <laughs> now i'm being annoying so yeah y'all thank y'all for watching and stay tuned for the next video <laughs>